Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about exporting your tool database file so that you can send it in an email and maybe pass it along to someone else. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is choose the file that you actually want to send. I'm going to send my Amanda tool master file. So I'm just collapsing all the windows. That way I make sure I have the whole file and I'm not just sending a partial. If you notice when it's collapsed under the main file, it's moved over to the right a little bit. You actually want to make sure you don't pick any of them. You want to pick the top one that says a mana. You also want to double check to make sure you have the right selection up there, just in case you have several different tool files. Now you're going to tap that icon. Now you need to name it so you can find it in a minute. So make sure you remember where you put it. I'd like to take a second to thank everybody for watching my videos and if you'd like to support my channel I have a patreon account and you can find that in the description okay now that it's saved we need to go find the file now you need to right click and hit the share button At this point, you may or may not have to um, log into your email through your computer. I had to, so, because I don't really send emails from my computer that much. If you have a video topic that you'd like me to make one for, please drop it in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Now that we sent it, we need to go to our email. Now you need to download the file. I'm not going to download it, I already have it downloaded, but make sure you can remember where the file is. Now you can go back to Vetrix software and import the file.
First, I'm going to delete my file so that you can see how I did it. Now select the file that you just downloaded. If you'd like to know how I turn them tool lights on and off, the video will be in the description. This next part is super important. After you import your file, you're going to want to upload it to the server. So in case you ever have to download it, you go to the right of that and you can get it right back. Or if you get another computer, you don't want to have to do this again, that will help. Thanks for watching.